by now, many of you have started the zombie apocalypse quest, and as you know, you're playing a game while learning about diseases. So if you have a lot of these assignments done, you've probably already started earning food and water. So here's how to keep track of it, and for you to be thinking what you're going to do with it. And so the CDC uses Zombie Apocalypse because it's a worst case scenario. So if you prepare for a zombie apocalypse, you're prepared for any natural disaster. Plus, people really like zombies and the whole idea. Um, and just so you know, they don't think zombies are real, even though they put this on their website. They're explaining it's in the movies and they're not saying it's going to happen. So nothing to worry about. Um, so you've got the playing Zad video there, and you've got the supply list. So when you click on the supply list, this is a view-only document because it shows you what everybody has, so don't request access to edit. I'm not going to let you edit it, but you got to find yourself so you can see how many food rations and water bottles you have, and if you've purchased or gotten any of these items. Then you go to the assignment, and you when you open it in Google Classroom, it'll generate your zombie uh, hero scorecard. This is what the scorecard looks like, just like I show on this video. So by now, I'm assuming you've already watched this video. If you haven't, pause this one and watch that one now. So on that other video, I show you, you know, how to personalize your scorecard. Put your name there. And then go to the Hazad, and let's say I've got six food rations and three water. I can add that, six food rations and three water bottles. Um, and if you are going to buy anything, um, I'm going to tell you now how much things are worth. Because here's what's going to happen. You heard the storyline on this video. So when we finish all the assignments and we're done with the zombie apocalypse quest, it's like in the story, we're, we're gathering our supplies and moving to our uh, location where the Starship Equinox crew can beam us aboard because we're safe and hopefully uninfected. All the supplies you collect, you can only carry two. So even if you have 35 food rations and 15 water bottles. You can only carry two unless you get and or purchase a backpack. With a backpack, you can carry up to 10 items. Now, all this extra food and water you want to use to buy maybe a first aid kit, an advanced first aid kit, a zap grenade, or a beaver bomb. And of course, the chainsaw is super elite, and that one goes to the person who either completes everything or does it the best. Uh, really high quality work with specific details, lots of detail, not just short answers. So here are some rules you want to know. Okay, so the first aid uh, you can buy with one food or one water, and it adds a plus one to any dice roll. So you would add it to your initial score, because if you don't have any food or water or trade items, your initial score is going to be zero. And the way the game works, I'm going to roll a five, five six-sided dice. And these are the numbers you need to win. A 28 to 30 will make you a zombie hero. You not only survived, but you probably saved your whole crew. A uh, 14 to 27, whew, you survived. You just made it. And you're ready to be beamed aboard. Uh, 5 to 13, you know what, you either got killed outright or you're a zombie, you got infected. So first aid helps. Advanced first aid gives you a plus 2 to any dice roll, but it's worth any combination of 3 food and or water. The zap, which what the zap grenade does is when it blows up, it, it puts this aerosolized, uh, uh, pathogen into the air that doesn't affect us, but it affects the zombies. It starts to melt their flesh, so their arms and legs become useless, so they're really easy to get by because they can't move. And what that one does in the game is it lets you re-roll any one die. So if I roll five die, 
your lowest roll, you can re-roll that one if you have a zap grenade. Now the Bieber bomb, it's kind of funny, uh, when you throw that at a zombie horde, it will cause them to kind of moan Bieber, Justin Bieber songs and ignore you because they're too busy remembering that they really like Justin Bieber. Um, and what that one does is it lets you re-roll your two lowest dice. So you can re-roll two dice. That one goes on sale for four, any combination of four food or water. Now I mentioned the chainsaw is an elite item. You either earn it, uh, but what chainsaw does, if you get a chainsaw, you can re-roll any three dice. That's powerful. Um, and, and if nobody earns it, I'll put it on sale, maybe for a combination of six uh, food or water. And the backpack, so important because it lets you carry first aid kits and zap grenades and Bieber bombs because that's what's going to go to get you extra points or let you re-roll dice. Um, and that one, if nobody earns it, then I might put it on sale for eight food or waters or any combo. Uh, but that's a maybe because Chainsaw and Backpack are elite items and you have to win them. And to keep track of food and water you are spending to buy stuff or when you use a, a first aid kit or something, double click right down here where it says items used and write down five, oops, five food and ten water. Uh, keep track of it. Used one Bieber bump. There, and that's how you keep track of that stuff. So you can type anywhere on here. Type on there, anywhere. So you might want to write this down or keep track of it because that's how you get a better chance of winning the game is do, not just do all the assignments in here, but do them so well that you get extra items and, and more assignments are coming up so when you finish these you'll get the other ones all right if you have any questions message me right here on the messaging center otherwise have fun doing the work